वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रॉनीज बुक रिव्यू बिहोल्ड द पावर ऑफ द बुक्स टुडे आई हैव फिनिश्ड अनदर बुक एंड इट इज फ्रॉम क्रिस्टोफर सी डॉयल्स महाभारत क्वेस्ट्स द लास्ट एंड द फाइनल बुक द सीक्रेट ऑफ द डूडिस महाभारत को स्टार्टेड विद महाभारत सीक्रेट देन द अलेक्जेंडर सीक्रेट एंड द थर्ड बुक इज द सीक्रेट ऑफ द डूडिट्स नाउ हु आर द डूडिट्स व्हाट सीक्रेट्स दे हैव and what that secret uh, can change the outcome of this world these are all incorporated in this book or uh, the secret of the durits but first let me give you pre a preview of the last two books first one is the mahabharata secret in which we have get to know about the main character that is vijay singh and how did he got with this mystery or the mystery finding work or this historical places how he got into these things that started with mahabharata secret because first of the in the first story we got to know that a terrorist group killed a scientist at junagar fort but before the scientist was got killed the scientist sent some encrypted emails to his nephew who is vijay singh and vijay came from america to india and started investigating his uncle's death and he got to know about some dangerous secrets which his uncle was hiding that somehow the terrorist group is wanting to get some divine weapons or some thing which have been written in mahabharata but those part of the mahabharata was edited by king ashoka and to protect the world from those secret ashok have appointed nine men who are called the secret of the nine and again the story revolves around this character vijay singh and his friend colin who gets a little help from dr shukla and radha and by this they unveil the mystery of the mahabharata and protect the world from that terrorist group by not letting those secret get into their hand but they get to know that the terrorist group is a part the main people who are pulling the string is called the order and that order is is from a very long back from a very long time they are trying to manipulate the outcome of the world so the main antagonist of the story is the order so and the protagonist of this story is vijay singh in the alexander secret we get to know that why did alexander came to india and what the secret he was find time to find in india because india was a mystical place for all those peoples and our culture our technology our scientific upliftment was more at that time so these people try to came and get those things so in that story we get to know why alexander came what he was trying to find in india did he got it if he had got it what did he do with it and why the terrorist group are trying to get these things what are the order is how is order helping this terrorist group to get that secret the alexander secret vijay get involved in that also and he get to know that the order have built a pharmaceutical company under their banner they are experimenting on human beings and radha uh, gets kidnapped by them and they have experimented on radha and at the end of the story radha gets killed and vijay after many attempt couldn't save that secret from going into the hand of the order this was the alexander secrets preview and mahabharata secrets preview now let's get to the secret of the durids after the death of radha vijay was very sad and he thought he will not work for this uh, mystery finding job he will not do but somehow he have got to know that his father and mother was also killed in a very mysterious way and from a friend of his father he gets a prism and he get to know that there is a do another prism of same kind in the british museum so he goes to england 
tries very hard to get that prism after all he got the prism and he when he matched those two prism he got to know about a story of a queen called semi ramaris she was a queen who came to india she was from india but she came to india after a long time fought a battle with the present king and in the that battle she lost but she took some divine weapons from india and after that when she was dying she gave it to the durids now who were the durids durids were the learned person philosophers astrologers persons who knew about medicines these were they were called durids they used to uh, teach the duridism by mouth means the person who is a durid he transfers those informations orally to another durids this was is the durids and they have a very common similarities with our rishis from the vedic age because at the time of the vedic age the rishis or the mode of education was orally like the durids so we can say that the durids were the sages or the rishis in the britain they had some powers by which they can control anybody they can stop war they can give judgment to the people and every people used to obey them at that time julius caesar attacked france and when he tried to get into britain durid stopped him first year he was defeated very badly but Julius Caesar was a great general he got to know that there was some magic there was something going on some magical power or some force was using against the roman soldiers by the celts who was at uh, that time the ruling britain the celts are using some magic power which is given by the durids to them for that reason the roman army was taking a huge loss so the second year when julius caesar came he fought very hard and made a pact with the durids by which he get to know about this divine weapon how to use it but instead of he is carrying he carried that to the room he hid it and made some coins in which he have mentioned the location now the order wants to get this magical or the divine weapon now how this divine weapon is linked to india what is the divine weapon how the divine weapon is used what is julius caesar is doing in this story these all are incorporated in the story secret of the durids christopher c doyle have taken it step by step in the mis- uh, secret of the mahabharata he have made the reader it is for a beginner class readers so he stated in that way he have made the book in that way that first you know about our country first you know about our mythology about mahabharata now in the second book the alexander secret you will get to know or the reader will get to know about the persons who have came to india and for what reason they have came many invaders many kings many people have come to india so what was the reason they have came to india this was the main topic of the second book and now the third book let me tell you that the second book was for intermediate level now the third book the Dur- secret of the durid is a book in which he have shown that the teachings or the culture of india is like a vast sea it's a vast ocean it had reached the shores of britain the english when have come to india and when we were enslaved by the british they had thought they are the high and mighty they know all things we don't know we are very illiterate they have called us illiterate but in the third book he have showed that the main founding stone of the britain have been led by our culture and how our mythology have played a big part in that so it is for all the pro level and intermediate level readers because the secret but if the if any beginner reader start to read the secret of the durids he will get bored because of the 
things is or the um, information given by moreover the total three book the quest mahabharata quest is filled with informations which we didn't knew at that time but after the book after the reading of that books we get to know about those informations it is about how he, the author have depicted the mythology and how he have logically explained the terms the facts the events in the mythology to be a highly logical events he have taught in the take take ex also about this mythology that the mahabharata has played a very important role in founding our culture so it is called the great epic or the epic book like iliad and odyssey mahabharata and ramayan are also the great epics why it is called great epics because it have part played a very important role in our life into our day to day life and there is many secrets in them which depicts that those people were more scientifically or psychologically or philosophically more advanced than us we are going in backwards not forward so these things are written in the total mahabharata secret quest now the, let me come about this book let me talk about the pros and cons of the secret of the duris pros this book is for the intermediate and beginner level the things or the language of the book are little bit hard you will get to digest some important things scientific things at the end of the book which are quite difficult to relate to and moreover the theme the things with julius caesar the part of julius caesar it is a bit higher for the common people it have to read about julius caesar of shakespeare julius caesar then you will get to know about it so it is a bit difficult for the beginner readers to get relate to unlike the mahabharata secret and the alexander secret so to, this is my total review of the book secret of the druids after reading the secret of the druids i have a different kind of a mindset about julius caesar and after finishing the mahabharata secret i have a different set thinking about the total mahabharata and our mythologies if you read these three books you will also definitely form a total different set of thinking for these books and how they are called the great epics so finishing my video here wrapping it up please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest book related videos and please do follow me on my instagram handle saying this